All right, y'all. Me and little man, we're sitting here. <laughs> we're sitting here in the car waiting on the girls to get through Shoe Carnival and TJ Maxx. So we're just chilling out, doing our iPad and just whatever I want to do. So I, before I start this video, I wanted to let y'all know that uh, one of my high ro highway heroes is back. He has joined us. We thought he was dead, thought he was gone, thought he's in prison. Didn't know where he was at, but old stick shift. He is back, coming to you live. Uh, go check him out, Perry Majors on Facebook, or you can check him out at uh, stick underscore shift on TikTok. And he's posted a bunch of his old content on TikTok and Facebook too. And uh, Just need to let him know that uh, glad to have him back. And I, I'm glad to have him back and need to laugh every once in a while. So go check him out, uh, Perry Majors on Facebook stick underscore shift on tiktok go get yourself a laugh and uh, have a good time watching my buddy now all right so we're gonna roll the video i hope y'all enjoy this i i thoroughly enjoyed this this is something i've been waiting on for a while we'll just say a while been waiting on this a while and it finally happened so let's roll the video all right we are headed over here we're crossing into mississippi as you can see Big muddy Mississippi. I got my son with me. And you may ask why I am doing a video. Well, my son with me and we're in a pickup. Well, it's because we are headed to go get the new truck coming to this channel. And I'm more than ecstatic about it. And it's gonna be a surprise to a lot of people. Some people have known about it. And I've, I've told some people this week that it's gonna happen. And uh, so we're getting a new truck just hang around and to see what it is all right so we're here picking up the new truck and surprise surprise i know some people uh are gonna be happy to see it but there she is the old green truck we bought her back we're fixing to go get it and uh, take it home and work on it for a few weeks we're still gonna drive the old 359 for a little bit but we're definitely definitely coming it's coming home to stay this time and more than happy we are uh got lots of stuff to do to it and we're gonna film we're gonna make some projects out of this so uh next few weeks just keep watching because it's uh it's gonna be good i can't wait all right we got her we're taking her on to the house we'll tell y'all a story about what my mom did now i'm an only child and my mom is very very particular about her only son and my whole deal with this thing was my mom loved this truck. My mom and dad both loved this truck. All my friends love this truck. Everybody, everybody, I mean, this this truck was me. Okay, so my mom, and, and I told my mom, my mom, before I left Sunday, my mom come to the shop. She's like, I just feel like something good's going to happen this week. I just kind of, I couldn't help myself. I should have just kept, kept my dang mouth shut. Well, I told her, I said, Mom, something really good is going to happen this week. I promise you. This will be the best week you've had in a long time. And anyway, it, it rocked on. She's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're worried me. You know, all week long, she has just bugged me about what the deal is. I said, don't worry about it. Well, I get this text right before I'm fixing to leave. And it is my mom. She says, I know what the secret is. Well, one but just a couple people knew that I was going to do this. So... I was kind of like, man, somebody needs to keep their dang mouth shut. Because the whole plan was to get her and mom, or her and dad over to the shop. And I was going to have my boy go and uh, and pull up at the shop, video me driving up in the truck, get their reaction, you know, and all that. I, I, you know, and I'm, I mean, I'm still going to try and get dad if I can. And uh, anyway, we're under like tornado warnings. Weather's supposed to get bad tonight or whatever. And she gets to worrying about her boy. Well, I turned my location services on her for on for her. She looked, seen where I was, seen what town I was in, and exactly where I was at. Cause she knows uh, where my buddy, what town my buddy lives in, where I, where the truck's at. And that's what she sent me the message. I know what the secret is. So I told her, I said, you, I said, you, you nosy mommy uh, self, root your really a dang good surprise because you had to be nosy but that's that's what happened there and I, I'm tore up about it because I really wanted 
I really wanted to catch everybody's everybody's reaction, but uh, anyway, it, it it didn't happen like that, and that it's all good. You know, at the end of the day, I still got my truck back, but it's I, I you know it's been five and a half years since I drove this truck, and uh, I'm just it's got a couple things I need to put window felt in the passenger side window, a door seal on the driver's side door over here. And it's got two or three things. Uh, those new, I just put a new set of drive tires on the, uh, on the 359. I'm gonna probably put them on there and I, I kept the old tires. I didn't have two that was really bad on that other set. I just need to find two good used uh, low pro 24s to put on and I'll have a whole set for the, for the 359. That's be good tires and I'll put this new set on here and get everything polished back up and uh, I need some lights man I, I'm, I'm gonna put some lights on the inside of the cab here and uh, I don't know if this light oh this light still works awesome so I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some uh, some overhead lights in here I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do them but I want to light it up in here and, and uh, mainly just clean everything up. I mean, like, I had the dash, like, all done, stainless, chrome gear shift. I tell everybody it's got a five speed. Um, I'll do a video tomorrow, like, when the, when it's light out and, uh, and go through the inside and the outside, get everybody, you know, let everybody see, you know, where, where it's gonna start at and uh, where it's gonna end, so. It's probably gonna start me ordering about four thousand dollars worth of crap for it, and uh, <laughs> to start off with. So uh, I need a GoFundMe and an OnlyFans. Uh, I, I gotta find me an OnlyFans group that likes looking at, at uh, short little fat naked boys, and, and you know, I'm sure somebody, I'm sure somebody would like to see me naked out there, or see my feet or something. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and find some, uh, find some alternative sources of making income so I can fix those, fix this old truck up. So anyway, we're gonna ride to the house. I got, uh, I got my, I got my big boy behind me, and uh, he's in the Duramax, and we're just gonna ride on. And I'm gonna sit here and think about all the crap I want to do with this truck. So anyway, hey, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't describe how surreal this is. I can, I'm almost emotionless because I, I've, I, I've been worried like something wasn't gonna go through. You know, like the bank wasn't gonna loan me the money, or, or uh, he's gonna change his mind, or you know, I was like, man, I just, I've, I've almost set myself up for disappointment on this deal, and like, I've been so excited like a few times that I mean like like crying tears of joy because I'm getting my truck back. So I've got my truck back. This is my truck and I've got it back and I am some kind of happy. Some kind of happy. Alright, I'm going to ride on and not make this segment of the video too long but I'm pumped. It is I just can't I, I can't describe what I'm feeling right now because like, like I said I'm almost emotionless because I am just like, I cannot believe I've got this truck back. So anyway, we're gonna ride on. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to the shop in the morning. Uh, my daughter's got a dance competition, so I'm gonna be out of town uh, Friday. You know, we're leaving tomorrow at lunchtime. So it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Monday, I gotta come back to 359, do my, do my loads for next week and uh, order some parts for this thing. And, uh, next weekend we're really going to get after it and uh, I'm pumped I'm pumped alright see you in the morning alright we stopped at the truck stop last night check make the things out of gear we're going to give it a cold start maybe turn the key on oh yeah smooth as glass smooth as glass so I got the boy right there. He's gonna drive the truck up. And I'm gonna quit filming because this uh, low air buzzer is probably annoying, but 
this thing used to hold air for like a week at a time like I, I wouldn't work it for a week and it would hold air so we're gonna do a little air checking on air and everything else get all the air where it's uh, where it'll stay up all the time like it used to and uh, just do some odds and ends cleaning up on this thing I'm excited I am pumped it is a uh, it's a good day in South Arkansas all right so I know everybody probably don't share the same excitement or don't feel the excitement but uh, this truck means so much to me and you might ask yourself why you sold this truck to buy a 359 if the truck meant so much to you. I, I had this truck for dang near 14 years and it was, you know, it's like a piece, it's a piece of the family really. Uh, everybody loves this truck. Everybody still talks about this truck. My friends still talk about this truck and the few friends that know right now are, you know, they're pretty pumped about it. and. Uh, yeah, I've, I've talked about how how much I miss the truck, and how much I wish I could have them both, and and you know now I get to have them both. I, I have both my trucks, and uh, it's just been I, I I'm just uh, I can't express how, how happy I am. I'm, I, I can't I cannot express how happy I am. I mean I, I'm as I'm as happy as a I can't, well, I can't use that analogy because you two won't like that, but I'm as happy as a, as a dog in a chrome wheel factory. How about that? We'll just say, I'm as happy as a dog in a chrome wheel factory. So, uh, we are, we're headed to the shop, fixing the, I've called dad. Mom, my mom found out, nosy heifer getting on, find my phone, looking at my location and figured out that hey, I'm, I'm over at my buddy's house and uh, where I sold the truck. So anyway, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of curious how everybody's going to respond. I'm happy. Uh, I can't wait to, I can't wait to make a Facebook post and Snapchat post and all that and, and make it official. I wanted to, I wanted the family to, to know before I ever did anything like that because I, I, I feel like I owe it to them to surprise them with it. I mean, I just, uh, you know that we I always had a gentleman's agreement with my buddy that hey if I sell the truck you get the first shot at it and he said you got to tell me no before I sell it and he he texts me this is Friday two Sunday nights ago and said hey uh, I found a truck so the truck's gonna be for sale he said I you know he's got he actually had a driver in this truck and he has a truck that is it's his truck, kind of like this is my truck. He didn't want to sell his truck. Don't blame him. Uh, so he texts me. He said, I found a big bump truck I'm, I want to buy. I got to sell the green truck to buy it. So I said, let me know what the price is going to be. And he called me back Monday night. And I thought, eh, he ain't making a deal on this truck. Uh, there he is right there calling me. Uh, but he made the deal, and we made a deal Monday night for last. So. We're almost at the shop. I'm gonna answer this phone. We'll talk to you in a minute. All right, here we are. We're almost to the shop right here, and I'm fixing to turn the Jake brake on. Let everybody know I'm here. That's so childish, but I can't help it. Mom's out there already. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. There everybody is. There everybody is. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Dad's not here yet, so I'm fixing to park it around back. <laughs> Oh yeah, everybody is some kind of happy, and I'm happy too. So we're gonna park this thing around back so Dad don't see it, and uh, I am just <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cry on here. <laughs> I am gonna try not to cry because I, I've been crying for two weeks, almost two weeks, and we're gonna get out, talk to everybody. Everybody's gonna. 
want to look at it and I got to pee, so get out. <laughs> So let's start the start the walk around here. We got the E model cat in this thing. Got a pretty good tune in it. Still got the same tune in it. I had it when it before, and uh, it's got a slight oil leak back there. We got a probably not going to be able to do nothing about it without taking the head off. But air compressor got a little leak. We got to fix that. No big deal. Uh, everything else is pretty clean up under here. Uh, Oh God, this right here, these things right here, you got to watch these 379s because the way these boots go in here, they will actually tilt down and uh, this pipe will rub the valve cover. But th all this used to be polished, pretty beautiful the way it was. Uh, we'll get that back. Other side, it looks pretty good. No oil leaks, got a new water pump on it. Oh, no, there's a oil leak right there front structure got a couple oil leaks on it nothing too bad needs a good needs a good bath cleaned up this stupid thing right here's got to find a new home oh i just noticed that we may have to this was a new grill crown when i this whole grill i got backed into and i gotta know everything on the front end's new but I don't know what the heck happened there. We're going to have to do something with that. I have a feeling I know what happened there. Some people find it a need to pull the hood over by the head of the swan and break the end of that off. But everything in here is like it was supposed to be. Oh, uh, interior is clean. Or it's not clean, but it's not tore. Uh, everything's, everything's good. See. This seat's got a rattle in it, gotta fix it, but my chrome stick, my green glitter knob still in here. Yeah, I had glitter knobs before. Everybody brought it back as a trend. That, that's been on there probably 15 years. Dash, it's got all Rockwood stuff on it. You know, your basic stuff. Headliner, I love intercourse, Pennsylvania. Oh. Basically, just cleaning up in here. Probably replace that stainless right there over the HVAC system there because uh, apparently there was stuff riding in the passenger floorboard that uh, scratched all that to hell. So we'll fix that. Like I said, just lots of odds and ends. Getting gauges working. There's a few gauge lights that wasn't working. A few gauges wasn't working. Oh, all in all, yeah, dual vortex. I did the strapless deal on it, you know, back years ago, and that wasn't really a thing. Uh, not much. We're going to put some 34-inch hose belts on here, probably. Maybe some half inners. I ain't sure. The new tires put on the truck. We're going to, these are 22, so, and we got 24s on the front, so 
Got to go 24s all the way. Uh, I'm gonna put the new tires on here when I get some more wheels. And uh, probably one piece light bar. All the bushings and everything's new in it. They uh, they did a good job keeping everything up mechanically on it. I got to give them that because my buddy he is uh, he's pretty he's pretty adamant about bushings and stuff like that. And, you know, it just uh, when you run a bunch of trucks and you know cosmetics had to go at some point in time because you're busy all the time. So we may put some new fenders on it. That's got to go. Got to go gotta go so like i said just a bunch of cosmetic stuff is really all it needs we're uh i don't know about the front structure oil leak might do something with it pretty soon i don't know uh probably new bumper definitely new headlights these headlights it's a good thing they haul oversized because you can't see diddly uh you know what with it with them uh with them at night so i can't believe that i used to have these lights and thought they were great after five years of running LED headlights, it's kind of kind of hard to go back. But got seven cab lights. We're probably going, I don't know, we may go five cab lights and put horns back on it. Uh, flip mirror brackets. That's a must. Uh, we're taking the spot mirrors off, putting stick-ons back on here, clean all that up. Uh, you know, polish it and get it ready to go. So there's a walk around on the, on the new truck, the new old truck. And we are, uh, all right, little plug for Large Car Mag. That sticker's been on there, <laughs> I don't know, 15, 16 years. But, uh, yep, we're going to pull the other truck around here, take some pictures real quick, and uh, I'm not going to get to work on it. Got Daughter's got a dance competition three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so we are not going to work on this truck this weekend. I'm going to order parts for it and work next week, so let the fun begin.